quarters. So the planters stock as Irish porter now with just a slave's border, guarded by the cannons at the fort. In the Civil War, the blackguard Davis thought we'd crew for who enslaved us, thought we'd labor passively along. Yet he's right that we will join the fight. We'll come and tear this ship tonight, commanded by our Captain Robert Smalls. When we pass through fire, we will melt our eyes, says Captain Robert Smalls. And upon the deck, Smalls counts the hours, clad in a pair, the captain's trousers and a hat to brim a face could hide. As the fog goes in, he whistles Dixie, and the anchor chain is clinking as our wives and kids climb up the side. Now the stars are up at Charleston Harbor, over the walls of shattered Sumter, and we raise the planters more in lines. Though we're sailing under Sumter's guns, with lanterns shining down at us, Smalls waves a signal, and he gets us by. When we pass through fire, we will melt our eyes, says Captain Robert Smalls. Ah, but just beyond the harbor break, we'll have to face a yank blockade, and we can take a couple cannonballs. And we watch them bring their guns to bear, as Smalls is shouting, if you'd spare a Union standard, boys, we'll join a y'all. Oh, and did them Yankees ever listen? Small secured his own commission, captain and the planter and her crew. But now he's racking up a heap of medals, whooping on them slaving devils. Bet he makes the Congress when we're through. Huh. Yep, when we pass through fire, we will melt our eyes, says Captain Robert Smalls.